In this video, we're going to look at a beginning video on getting started with Blender. We're going to learn how to navigate in the scene and learn how to move objects around. Okay, so I'm using Blender 5.1, which is one of the latest uh, versions. So let's get started. Uh, when you open up Blender for the first time, you're going to see this little splash screen here. You really don't need to uh, do anything with that. I'm just going to click somewhere around it for that to disappear. And when you open up Blender for the first time, you're going to notice your scene here with a cube. So they start you with a cube. Also, there is a camera and a light that we'll look at in future videos. But we're focused here on this cube. So to navigate in 3D, what you'll do in Blender to orbit around, you'll hold down your middle mouse button. And when you hold down your middle mouse button on your mouse, you can move above and below and orbit around. All right. The second type of navigating in 3D space would be panning. To pan, you're going to hold down Shift and the middle mouse button. And you can see how I can move my mouse while holding Shift and middle mouse. And I can pan the screen which is different than orbiting. Panning and orbiting. If I want to zoom in and out, I can just roll the wheel on your mouse. Now, if you get far away, or let's say you lose your spot, you lose your object, you can always press the dot or period key on the numpad of your keyboard, and that will zoom back and focus into your selected object. Okay, next let's look at uh, how to move objects around. So to move objects, there's the move tool here, there's the rotate tool, and the scale tool. Let's start with the move tool. When you select the move tool and click on your object, of course, you'll notice that there's a gizmo. And this gizmo has some arrow, tips of arrows, blue, green, and red. To move on one of these axes, I can move the mouse or hold down on the arrow to move the object up or down, left or right, or forward and backward. All right. But in Blender, there are plenty of quick commands, which I really recommend that you use. So if I was off of that move tool and I wanted to grab the move tool with a quick, quick key command, I would press G and G grabs your object. Now you can see it's moving in all directions, so I don't really like that. However, if I press the Z key on the keyboard, I can move it on the Z axis, or I can press the Y to lock it down on the Y axis, or the X. Now, if I move it over here and decide I don't like that, I can right click to cancel. I can press G again, and on the X, and if I want to approve this new move, I can just regular left click. So G is the move tool. And then X, Y, or Z. All right, next, let's look at the rotate tool. The rotate tool, there's a gizmo with the same colors. Uh, and if I hold down on one of these lines, you can see I can rotate an object. So. Uh, what is the quick command for rotate? It's R, and you can see it will rotate around the camera's view. However, same rules apply. I can rotate on the Z by pressing the Z key, the Y, or the X. And cancel, I can right click. All right, let's look at the scale tool. This is the scale tool over here. And the gizmo looks the same, except it has cubes instead of arrows. <clears throat> I can grab one of these to stretch the cube and resize it. I can also, you can see there's this larger wheel around the edge here of the gizmo, this white line. This will scale proportionally. So just know about that. Now, let's look at the quick command for scale. That would be S on your keyboard. And notice that right away, if I move my mouse, it scales in the proportional manner. However, same rules apply as the other tools. If I press Z while I'm on the scale tool, it will scale on the Z axis, the X, or the Y. <clears throat> so uh, this is just our first video in Blender. 
learning how to navigate in 3D space and move, scale, and rotate objects. Good luck and give it a try.